Hello. I'm doing this on my own, so bear with me as I figure out the technology. Last call is at wrestling training right now. So I am having a protein bar for dinner and a banana because there's nothing to eat and he's the one who makes the food. So that's what's happening. All right, here we go. There's a little bit of a mukbang ASMR for protein bar eating. I apologize. But I had a really busy day today so far. And I really just wanted to get to this point where I could play with you guys. So, all right. <sighs> so, I had a busy day. But let's start with what we're doing here. So, when we left off, we got all the shrines we needed so that I had this paraglider. And now I need to go find a lady named Impa. So I'm just going to select that and we're going to go find her. Okay. There's my paraglider. I go to the yellow dot. So today was a pretty... I know, it's Friday, so technically... Generally, I'm in a good mood on a Friday. I work a 9 to 5 and, you know, Friday is usually like the fun day at work because the work day is almost done. Work week almost done. I just couldn't kick this like super like down low bummy kind of feeling all day today. Just feeling sad for no reason. Like my life is pretty great. And I know that, but... If you're someone who experiences depression or anxiety, you can probably relate to that. When sometimes you just feel a way, but you know nothing is really going on behind it. And then it just, then you just feel like, okay, am I just not enjoying life? And I f then I feel bad for not enjoying the life that I have and not having gratitude. And it's just like a vicious cycle. I think I have to invert. So I got to invert these. Sorry about that. Anyways. So... I've had anxiety for a long time, all my life, I would say, since I was a kid. And we can go... Invert, invert. Did he do this for me? I'm so confused. And generally, you'll f figure this stuff out in therapy, which I, you know, I feel like I've done a lot of therapy in my life. Not a lot. That's a lie. I've done, I've done more, like, introspective work I've gone to therapists I've gone to counselors and also I've journaled a lot I've done a lot of like self-help self-improvement kind of stuff in my life to try and like I'm so confused is this no this is worse so today I took it upon myself to put put in put put into action some of the tools that I've learned over this time. So I'll, I put some of them on my screen. Okay, there's a dog and he jump, Bruce. Just jump. Jump. You're in my way. I got a Frenchie in my way. It's fine. I don't know if I like what's going on here. Anyway, so I was feeling down and. One of the things I realized first off today is that I didn't eat a proper breakfast. I didn't make, put the time to do that. I just had coffee this morning and then it was like one o'clock. Last call got home with some groceries, but not groceries that I wanted. So I was a little grumpy and I was kind of, you know, a little irritable towards him. And I realized it's because I'm hungry and I'm not in a good mood. So... I made a list of all the things that you should do when you're feeling anxious or depressed that can help potentially. So, oh, okay, I got a Frenchie on the move. Just lay down, dog. I'm sorry. Okay. Go over there. We love you. <sighs> so, 
so yeah, I uh, made a list, and on the list included eating a full meal with, with multiple f food groups included in it. So it doesn't count to just eat like what I'm eating now, which is like a protein bar, but actually a meal. So I made myself a quesadilla with cheese, and I had some protein in there. That was step one. Also drink water, which I got some water here beside me. The next step was to actually just finish my work day when it was done. Because a lot of times right now, I don't know about you, if you are all working remote or not. But I am and... Oh, I don't like these guys. No. Okay. Oh shit, nope. Cannot beat this guy right now. I'm running for my life. Um, working remotely, oh god, keep going, um, I tend to like work late a lot or just I don't stop working at like th when it's time to clock out and sometimes if I have nothing else to do, I'll also just keep working because I just have nothing else to do but it's not good, you need to be able to clock in and out. When I used to work in an office, there was a separation between like work life and home life and I'm just not doing that as well as I could be when it comes to working from home. So today I committed to logging off right when it was time. And also, so then step three was to take our little puppers outside for a walk. I actually also had not been outside all day. Where am I? There we go. Um... And that's not good, and that's another thing that I tend to do is not go outside at all, even when I'm working at home, because... can Do you think I can throw this into there? Come on, baby. Ready? I think it's gotta go in there. Yeah. Wow, that was... He was embarrassed. Why did it go that way? <sighs> There's no other rocks. What am I going to do? Oh, there's tons of rocks. Never mind. Okay, let's try this again. Do, 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 do. You just see stuff like this and you're like, there's definitely a reason why that's there. Okay, I did it again. This is embarrassing. I've never been into ball sports. Let's just say that. Seems to no. That was good. Okay. Try and try again. Yeah. Why? Why? I think I'm just like I need to overcorrect because I just seem to only be able to throw in one direction. So I'm gonna stand <laughs> way over here. There we go. And then throw it. Yeah. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> okay, I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to give up because there's more important things to do right now. I can come back and do this later. Come on, Link. Yeah. Who is the best? Definitely not me. That took me like four times. So yeah, I took the dog outside for a little walk and just even if you don't have a pet or anything, just going outdoors when you've been inside all day, if you work in an office or you work at home or anything like that, like we need that vitamin D and it just, it does change your mood. It changes your brain chemistry. So highly recommend. So that was step three on my list today. Then I came home and I actually worked out because that's so important as well. Exercise. So we did that. And then I had a shower and now it's time to stream and so for dinner I'm having my protein bar and banana. 
and maybe hoping that last call will come home hungry from training and make me food with their food. <laughs> what do I have for weapons? I forget. It's been been a while. Oh, I know what I gotta do. You know what you can do? You can throw a bomb at these things. I didn't mean to throw it over there, but... Okay. Now, who just saw me blow myself up? Because... I'm gonna tell you right now, that's not gonna be the last time I do that. I... I'm a new gamer. And I do stuff like that a lot. And it's embarrassing, but... Someone's gotta suck. And that somebody is me. Alright, so anyways... After doing all those steps today to manage m my anxiousness and my sadness, I honestly do feel much better. And now I'm just going to have some fun streaming. So I was going to come on here. Uh, when I asked last call if I could jump on his stream today, I wanted to because I just felt like I needed a break from life. And I'm really learning as a new gamer, a new person to the games, the gaming that that's what it, that's what they do they let you just escape cuz the world is heavy sometimes and today it felt like that for me and i just wanted to get away from it for a minute but you know after i did all those other things i don't feel as bad so if you're ever feeling the way i described before try that list of things and if that doesn't work i don't know Start back at number one and start all over again. Should I even try to get these right now? It's going to waste my arrows. I'm going to go no. So this is my second time playing through this game. And... I'm just happy to be here. I love this game a lot and it's so beautiful. And last night, uh, last call and I actually went to the movies. We saw Shang-Chi, Legend of the Ten Rings and the Legend of the Chang Ten Rings. Did I just butcher all of that? Great movie, Marvel movie. I got really into the Marvel movies over lockdown here in BC in Canada and we watched all of them I had never watched them before and absolutely love all of them except for the Ant-Man movies are the absolute absolute dog shit worst movies ever made I love Paul Rudd too like trust me I'm a die hard Paul Rudd fan and I just I watched them because I had to because we made a list of like all of our favorites like the top, we just made a li list. I don't know what you call that. And uh, so I watched the movies, but I didn't want to by the time I watched the first time. I didn't watch, watch the second one, and I'm not excited that there's another one. Like if I was Paul Rudd, I'd, I wouldn't have done those movies. But anyways, we saw that movie, um, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings last night. And, of course, there's a lot of um, Chinese symbolism, and it's all based in China, and Chinese culture and legend, and just absolute stunning movie. So beautiful. Highly recommend anybody to watch it. It's hilarious. It's funny. It's tons of action, but above all, it's just an absolutely stunning movie. The music, the... The, f the special effects, the, um, just the, yeah, visually it's breathtaking. Alright, I think I'm going to go over to this tower, I guess. I really want to have another bite of my protein bar, but I don't know if I want to make you guys listen to that.
Now, when I first played this game, my strategy was to avoid everything. So for all the towers at the beginning, I used to just cl figure out ways to climb all these mountains and then I would just jump down onto them so I wouldn't have to fight anybody because I was so afraid of conflict. But I'm feeling a little more confident in my combat skills at this stage of the game. Bruce, come here. Come on. You can come here. Come on. Nope. Going solo. Oh, he's gonna go lay in his little bed. He's a good boy. Can I make it across? Do I have enough stamina or will I die? Maybe let's be smart about this, perhaps. It's a pretty fast moving current. What I, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just try. Yeah, there's no way in heck I'm gonna make it. No way. Ah! Okay. Oh, Jesus. Change of plans, change of plans, change of plans. Run, 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 run. Ricky boy, have you played this game before? Bam! Arrows. I really did not think that that bomb was going to hit that box. <gasps> I'm not a good thrower. Okay. I'm in enemy territory right now. They don't seem to notice. So that's fine. Now my plan is to just be sneaky along these rocks down here. Oh. Genius. Nope. Well, no. oh. I wonder how frustrating it is to watch someone play video games that's not good at them. There's probably a piece of shit in there. Oh, I'm gonna drown and die. As I say that. No! I wonder if I saved them. When was my last? Oh, thank God. Thank God. Yeah, I'm gonna die a lot. But we can't all be as good as the last call now, can we? That takes years of it. S practice and skill and dedication. I was too busy watching The Real Housewives. Am I going up the right way? I know a protein bar isn't considered a full meal, but it's freaking good. I get in trouble a lot from last call for not eating properly. For not, for what I explained to him, because he'll ask me what, I, what I've eaten a lot when he gets home from work. When I tell him, he's like, that doesn't, that's, that doesn't count, because I'll have like a couple eggs for breakfast, and then I'll have a smoothie for lunch, and then like another snack, and he's like, that's all considered one meal. So it's, I think it's like two meals and a snack, and he's like, that is all the equivalent of one meal. But I don't think he realizes that he's like a hundred and 
like 80 pounds and like six foot something whereas i'm like 100 pounds and five foot something so it's like i don't need to eat like a wrestler i eat like a little rabbit Activate that tower, babe. Oh, do it. So now I get to see more of the map. Hopefully, the map that will show me where to get to that Impa. It does show me how to get to Impa. That little blinking yellow light is where I need to go. Excellent. Definitely when I played this the first time, I didn't follow any of the clues. I didn't, like, know the strategy or understand it. I didn't get the map stuff. Like, I just wandered around. And I stumbled upon things in completely like different incorrect orders but it still worked okay so I'm gonna look for some shrines while I'm up here this is a good vantage point I see one I feel like there's more. There's bad guys down there. Mm. You hear Bruce snoring in the background. My apologies, but uh, he took a. We were at the dog park and he really had a good time, so he was pretty pooped. Okay, I don't see any other shrines. So I'm just gonna go this way. Here I go. Bye guys. Since I'm newer to gaming, I'm going to tell you why I found it to be so life-changing. So before, we discussed in the last stream that like when I met last call, it was before lockdown and the pandemic, and I never played video games before, and after we met, obviously he's really into them, and he introduced me to them, and got me slowly into it and now I really enjoy it and some really great things have happened because of it one I have this experience where like with my anxiety and stuff like that when I just want to like have a bit of escapism I have that which I think is great for anybody it's just like a little break from the re from reality and you get to go to this fantasy land which is pretty cool also, when you're doing puzzles and or you, when you accomplish something or you beat a level, it really does make you feel better. And honestly, sometimes in my job, I don't get that kind of satisfaction or like fulfillment. So it's just nice to get it wherever you get it. You know what I'm saying? Oh! What a jerk. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell into the microphone. Okay. More bad guys, come on. I need a break. Oh man. No 
don't know. Don't die. Oh, we're not gonna die. We're gonna live. There we go. Guess I should. Well, I see something over there. It's a shrine. Another thing that gaming has brought into my life is, uh... Sorry, I keep hearing the craziest sound outside. I don't know what that is. Um, it's brought me and my nephew closer. I have an 11 year old nephew. He's actually guested, guest spotted on the old stream with Last Call here on this channel. And of course he's really into Fortnite, which I've been told I'm not allowed to, it's, it's no good is what I've been advised. I can see that it is like super addicting, which I don't think is good. But anyways, but we chat about gaming now like I'll get texts from him sometimes and he'll be he'll tell me a joke or something to do with playing video games which I never would have been able to relate to him about because I didn't play them before but since he's been over and we've played some games together and like now we just have this other thing that we can connect on and I actually have quite a few nephews are all a bit younger now but as they get, go to get older I hope that that's something that you know I can relate to all of them on because I think they all enjoy playing video games, even the, the younger ones. Come on. So for this version, this, this time that I'm playing Breath of the Wild, I'm going to actually just go step by step as it's the game tells me to, which is not what I generally do. Oh no! Alright. I'm going to try this again. Come on, come on, Link. Oh, God. oh yeah, we'll be fine this time. Whew! There we go. Uh, there we go. Do I have shield? This is the other thing, when I first played this, I never used a shield, because I didn't know how. And last call would be like, use your shield. Why aren't you using a shield? And then I was like, I don't want to. I don't need to. But yeah, just because I didn't know how to do it. So, in the game that I'm, the game I originally started, I'm actually ready to go to the castle. Oh, snap. Oh, no. Damn it. That sucks. I don't know what I was thinking. Please don't. I want to be saved at the top of the mountain. Don't make me climb up the mountain again. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Oh, this is upsetting. I'm upset. God. Dang it. Oh, this is upsetting. I'm upset.
Oh my lord. Do I even want to go up that mountain? Why was I going up the mountain anyway? Do I need to go up the mountain? Maybe I just won't even bother going up. Let's just go this way. Oh, uh, you know, this is when I was first playing. If that would have happened, I probably would have put the game away and just been like, you know what? I hate this. But I'm learning that you can die. You can make. Oh yeah, I did all this already. Okay, this is the thing. I'm gonna. Oh jeez. I just don't want to fight anybody right now. Leave me alone. Sometimes you want to confront conflict and issues in your life and head on and deal with them right away. And sometimes you just want to avoid them and wait till another time. And that's what I'm doing. Okay. Is this why I wanted to go up the mountain? Because, oh, it's raining now. Great. Everything's so complicated. And I can't climb stuff in the rain. Okay, well. This is what we're gonna do. Okay, I don't know why I just did any of those things. I panicked. I don't need the torch. Don't do this to me. This is all very upsetting. This, I'm sorry, this must be so frustrating to watch right now. I'm frustrated playing. I've made so many mistakes. It's okay. We're gonna f we're gonna figure this out. Okay. There's gonna be a lot of bad guys in there. I think. Could be very bad. Yep. When in doubt, toss lots of bombs. Luckily, I guess they don't have arrows because no one's shooting at me. My throws remain terrible. Oh, here we go. You know, I guess maybe my heart's just not into it right now. I don't know. I'm fragile. I'm emotionally fragile today. So here I am, and I'm just going to deal with the situation. I know there's lots of bad guys. Yeah, there's bad guys over there. Why are you freaking kidding me? I learned that if you shoot a little above their head, you're going to hit them more likely. Okay, what am I dealing with here? These guys are super hard to beat, the blue ones. Okay, it's a good thing I got another sword! Okay. We're gonna go back over here. Ah. 
This is really frustrating. We're having fun. This is a game, and we're having fun playing the game. Stop getting stressed about a game. Because this is fun, and you can beat it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can beat the game. Okay. Well. That should be releasing any, like, stress I have, but I feel a little more stressed out about that. But it's fine. I did it, everyone. And there seems to be a lots of treasures. Gonna throw bombs at things and blow them up and then I'm gonna find stuff to find to pick up off the ground. Fish are jumping in the water. So I will catch them. And hopefully not drown. Okay, get go. Get out of there. Gonna throw a bomb at this dynamite. Pick up a rock if you see one. Blowing stuff up. Well, it's worth it sometimes to just get some balls and go for the bad guys. Honestly, though the spears don't have as much, like, uh, defensive power, I find I like using them more because they have a further reach. So you don't have to get in there too close. And that's what I like. So I don't know about you, but, you know, it's good to be mindful of your anxiety if you have it or de like symptoms of depression and like know, find different tools. Meditation's another one, journaling's another one to kind of like help you identify what you're feeling and understand that, you know, it's just like, it's a passing thought or it's just a, you know, it could be brain chemistry, it could be hormones, it could be all these different things. It's not you, it's not who you are. It's just something that you're feeling and a lot of times it will eventually pass um but what was i gonna say am i done here can i leave did i get everything i think so yeah okay yellow dot yellow dot coming for you yellow dot Where 
right there. Let my puppy go first. Where are you going? Come back. Just running away from the bad guys. So anyways, when you... It's good to be able to identify that. Like when you're feeling the anxiety. Oh, for crying out loud, please tell me. Why am I not saving this game? Can, I, can you tell me wh why I'm not someone who dies and blows myself up and falls off of cliffs and has game over continuously? Why am I not saving it? Please tell me it saves before the... Where am I now? Do I literally have to blow this stuff all up again? This is the worst. This is the worst stream that's ever existed. I'm literally going back over... I need to. I need to collect all the stuff. So anyways, while I'm doing this, I'll chat with you about my anxiety. And also, what I, a good tip. So, it's good to recognize it. It's also good to consider what you might be doing in your life that might be aggravating or triggering these kinds of feeling symptoms. For me, I really notice like where it all started today was being on my phone, scrolling, social media... And basically just seeing people's lives that I wish I had. But of course, again, it's also you're watching the highlight reel um, of everyone's lives. So, oh, I got myself on fire. Cool. Um, which we all know, but then we still don't, like, treat it as such. We're still like, oh, man, their lives are so cool. They're doing so much great things. They're doing things I want to do. So kicked off my morning by going on my phone first thing as soon as I woke up before I'm mean, like even out of bed looking at Instagram and everybody's lives and looking how great they are and how mine isn't as great for whatever reason. So that's kind of how it started. So that's one of the things I realized really causes me to, to feel anxious and not great. When I'm not on social media, when I'm spending time just with like the other weekend we went camping and we didn't have our phones out the entire time and I was very present, I just have so much gratitude and like happiness for my life and the people in my life and the experiences I get to have. So there's that. Another thing that I definitely do is I watch a lot of... I'm so sorry for everybody watching this, by the way, that has to watch me miss everything with the bombs. But I watch a lot of true crime and serial killer stuff, murder stuff. I don't know why. I'm somebody who hates anything to do with blood. Welcome new viewers, by the way, if you want to jump in the chat and chat with me. But anyways, I hate blood. I don't like gory stuff. Like, even when I watch wrestling with Last Call and they, like, start to bleed for whatever reason, like, minor cuts and stuff, like, I can't even watch the rest of the fight. Like, I have to look away or leave the room. But for some reason, true crime, like, real stuff, like, and I watch the most craziest stuff on YouTube, like, real murder stories, horrific, like, spouses killing each other, like, mothers killing their children mothers killing like people killing like just it's it's a dark world out there if you want to like go search for it and learn about it it's there's there's horrible stuff that happens in the world but there's also wonderful things but do you think i'm googling the wonderful things or searching on youtube for like the wonderful things not most of the time i'm looking at like the most craziest creepiest horrific stuff and i find if i and i like i'll wake up in the middle of the night and go on my phone and listen to a podcast, a murder podcast or something because I can't sleep. But why do you think I can't sleep? Probably because I listen to murder podcasts all day. It's just like a vicious cycle. So definitely if i am been oversaturated with social media or I've been way too like just listening on repeat to murder stuff while I'm working and stuff my mood is just absolutely in the shitter like I just feel so sad and depressed and makes kind of sense why does it not 
So these are just things that I think are important if you can in your life to recognize like, oh, am I, maybe I shouldn't wake up in the morning and go on Instagram if immediately after doing that, I feel like bummed out. Maybe I shouldn't watch eight hours straight of, listen to eight hours straight of like murder shows on YouTube because it makes me really sad about the state of the world. Now, I know also the things that can really cheer me up. Oh, I need to look at the map here. I gotta go that way. So maybe I gotta kind of go this way. So I'm gonna make a little mark there. Out of a do. I just gotta go back that way. I'm gonna go back this way. Um, if I watch something like America's Got Talent or American Idol or something, if I just YouTube that stuff and I watch just really talented young people or just, just talented people in general pursuing their passions, performing art and just like the most heartfelt performances, like I will cry like a baby. Like I am emotionally extremely sensitive. I'm so incredibly sensitive and so when I watch that kind of stuff I'm uplifted I think the world is such a beautiful place and there's such beautiful people out there and art is so wonderful and singing and sharing your talents so I just realized I need to spend more time investing my energy into stuff like that instead of Murder, 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 murder. I don't know what the psychology is behind why we're so fascinated by, like, like murder. thing is, is, like, Last Call doesn't watch that stuff at all. He doesn't watch it with me. I'm watching it alone. And on top of that, the other thing that I watch is, like, The Real Housewives. And that's also super depressing. Like, it's so chaotic and dramatic and emotionally unstable. And I'll be sitting there listening to it while I'm working. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. And feel, like, so much anxiety. Because, <laughs> like, there's this crazy stuff that goes down on those shows. The drama, the gossip, the... Yeah, it's not good. So, anyway, it's, those are just things that I consume regularly. And then I'm like, oh, why am I not such a happy, bubbly person today? Maybe because I spent 12 hours watching the most horrific, upsetting, emotionally debilitating stuff that you can watch. So, trying to, to wean myself off of that a bit. But, man. How do I get over there? I'm gonna delete that because that's not gonna work. Okay. Let's try this again. So I ate that banana and I ate that protein bar. I'm still hungry. Oh, I could have got this. I feel like texting last call and being like, hey. He's going to be mad at me. He's going to be like, why have you not eaten like, properly? I just messaged him. <laughs> I said, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Wanna somewhere and bring me food. <laughs> I'm gonna f can I fast travel to this tower? I feel like I can. Oh. Okay, we've really not accomplished much in this uh, stream, but what we have accomplished is... 
I need to go this way. I think this is where the way I gotta go. Yeah. What we have accomplished is understanding a little bit more about my anxiety. So you're welcome for that. And maybe you're gonna learn a little bit more about your own anxiety. And how... And, uh, I just killed myself. I feel like I should end this stream now. I just... I'm embarrassed at this point. <sighs> I just really wanted to get to Impa in this stream. So can I do it in like seven minutes? This has already been so long. This has been so long. And I'm still not learning to save the game either. <sighs> so it's been a lot of highs and lows today. I can't tell you where I'm at mentally at this point. I did all the the things today to help. And I do think that eating a proper dinner is probably another reason why I'm like still not totally... Yeah, I'm gonna come back to you later, fine. I just feel like I gotta get get to where I need to go. And then we can wait until next time for maybe a better stream. No, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to get hit by you either. Slowly making my way. Another group of bad guys over there. No gracias. Oh, saving. Thanks. So this looks like a bunch of rocks I could blow up, maybe? No. Maybe? No? No. Also things to consider when you're feeling the symptoms I mentioned earlier is like, have you had too much coffee? Have you been drinking alcohol? Have you been eating okay? All these things can contribute as well to, you know, exacerbate. Hey, there's a shrine. Look over this village. How far are we from this impa? Oh, we're so far. Okay, well. I'm going to wrap it up today and uh, looks like last call is not going to be home for a while so I'm going to actually have to make myself a real food. It's probably going to have to be something along the lines of eggs but that's close enough right? So let's just leave it here. I think that's good. <sighs> well, I hope uh, 